So one thing about moving to the Santa Clarita area is that it can feel sometimes overwhelming to find that perfect place to live to fit your lifestyle. I was born and raised here, so don't worry. I will walk you through all the neighborhoods of Santa Clarita. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Kim Block with Home Smart here in Santa Clarita. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live and play here in Santa Clarita area, then make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the little bell so you're going to be notified every time I do a new video. We are getting phone calls, emails, texts every single day and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move to the Santa Clarita area or selling your home here, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email days, nights, or weekends, and I would love to help you on the journey. Okay, so let's get to it. I'll take you through the map and I'm gonna show you around. I've also done some other videos where I dive a little deeper into these different areas individually. You are gonna be surprised on how many great neighborhoods there are here in the Santa Clarita area. Moving here is all about location and lifestyle. Do you need quick accessibility to the freeway? Do you want to be close to top rated schools for your children? Or do you want to be in a gated community or possibly a non-gated community? Or perhaps you want to be where all the action is. There is something for everyone here. So let's jump to the map so I can really show you all the different communities. In the Santa Clarita area, there are six neighborhoods that include Valencia, Saugus, New Hall, Canyon Country, Stevenson Ranch, and Castaic. Let's start in Canyon Country. Here's a map of Santa Clarita and where Canyon Country is located within the city. Canyon Country is located on the eastern end of Santa Clarita. The history dates back to the mid 1800s. In 1872, Colonel Thomas Mitchell created the first school which is now called Silver Springs Elementary School. This was Santa Clarita's first school. Canyon Country serves as both a residential area and popular commercial and retail area. There are plenty of housing options from high-end homes near the top of the canyons to more affordable housing options. There are some new home construction that's happening in Canyon Country as well if that's what you're interested in. Skyline has three neighborhoods and 10 home collections named for the views and the scenic hilltop location which is where we are right now and it's so beautiful here. The views are amazing. Located off of the 14 freeway, close to Sierra Highway, and just 30 minutes from the downtown Los Angeles area. Prices start from the mid 700s to high 900,000. You can even find a 55 and older community here. Here in Canyon Country, there is honestly something to fit everybody's wants and needs. Next on our map is Saugus. Here we are in Saugus at Central Park. Saugus is one of the communities that merged in 1987 to create the city of Santa Clarita. Saugus includes central and north central portions of the city. Today, Saugus is a community made up almost entirely of residential developments winding through Bokeh Canyon Road. Here we are at Central Park in Saugus, which has some amazing open air facilities. They hold outdoor concerts that are always a bunch of fun and also offer a lighted ball diamond, basketball courts, that are also lighted, a child's play area, and even a dog park. Saugus is a suburban neighborhood, primarily made up of medium-sized three or four bedroom single family homes and condos. Most of the homes were built between 1970 to the present. If you do commute to work, you can spend 15 to 30 minutes commuting one way, which honestly is 31.2% shorter than most Americans spend commuting to work. Next on our map is Valencia. Valencia is another one of the four cities that were merged to create Santa Clarita in 1987. Valencia is situated in the western part of Santa Clarita, stretching from Lyons Avenue to the south and to north of Copper Hill Drive. Valencia was founded as a master plan community with the first development being Old Orchard One, built on Lyons Avenue behind Old Orchard Elementary School. Valencia has great schools and a Westfield Mall with some wonderful restaurants and shopping. The one thing I love about Valencia is their paseo system. These paseos can be found at the end of a cul-de-sac on streets or near recreational parks and centers. Every neighborhood has access. There are 30 miles of paseos and more planned. The paseo system allows children and adults alike to enjoy the wonderful outdoors of the city without ever having to cross a busy street. 
Some are even lighted so you can take a walk or bike ride after work. As you see on the map here, the Paseo system is divided into two for convenience of map readability. This is what helps make Valencia and Santa Clarita a great place to raise a family. Most communities in Valencia have HOAs, some actually quite reasonable for what you get. Many have community pools and also have swim teams for kids to participate in. When my daughter was younger, she was on the swim team and honestly, I think I loved it just as much as she did. It's a great way to socialize and meet new friends. Valencia offers single family homes and condos alike. Valencia is conveniently located close to the 5 freeway if somebody needs to commute for work. Let's head on over to Newhall, which is adjacent to Valencia on the south side. Newhall is the oldest community in Santa Clarita and is rich in history. Newhall is home to Placerita Canyon Nature Center where you can find the Oak of the Golden Dream. So here we are at William S. Hart Park. Newhall is the oldest community in Santa Clarita and is very rich in history. Newhall is home to Placerita Nature Center where you can find the Oak of the Golden Dream. Old Town Newhall has been completely transformed with great restaurants, shops, and is also the entertainment area of Santa Clarita. Old Town also has a large library with study rooms, computers, and a kids area downstairs. Newhall is filled with many smaller neighborhoods like the exclusive Happy Valley community and luxury homes found in the Peachland Estates and Placerita Canyon where you have ranch style homes. Newhall is also close to the 5 and 14 freeway. Let's head on over to Stevenson Ranch. Here we are in Stevenson Ranch and here it is on the map. Stevenson Ranch is the newest community within Santa Clarita, west of the 5 Freeway and a few miles south of Six Flags Magic Mountain Amusement Park. It's a growing community north of San Fernando Valley and the greater Los Angeles area. There are many new suburban one and two story houses in newer development. The area encompasses about 4,000 acres of rolling hills and about 1,000 are set aside as parks, recreation, and open space areas. Stevenson Ranch backs up to the historic oil mining town of Mentryville, founded in 1875. There are many home types available here, single family homes, gated communities, and condos. The Valencia Marketplace and the Stevenson Ranch Shopping Center are very popular areas in this community. The schools are award-winning, which makes it a great place for families. We're gonna finish up in the Castaic area, and here it is on our map. So here we are in the lower part of Castaic Lake. Right off of the 5 Freeway, Castaic is on the northern end of Santa Clarita and a bit more rural. The quiet, mainly residential community is best known for the proximity to Castaic Lake. Castaic Lake is the largest state water project reservoir in Southern California, and it contains over 11,200 total acres of parkland and open space. It's a favorite destination for many in the Santa Clarita Valley for boating, fishing, swimming, camping, and all water sports. Castaic also has a sports complex that hosts a variety of events and programs for all the community residents. Single family, gated, non-gated, and condos can be found here in Castaic. Santa Clarita is such a great place to live. If you want to be out in the Los Angeles hustle and bustle, but close enough to drive to it, Santa Clarita's relaxed, laid back vibe might just be the right place for you to be. With so many outdoor activities, Santa Clarita has something both for families and singles alike. If you have any questions about the things to do in the Santa Clarita area, just let me know. And if you're thinking about moving to the Santa Clarita area, buying or selling a home here, be sure to get in touch with me. I wanna make your experience as smooth as possible. Now be sure to watch this next video.